a legend has risen. It has been a while, but I am officially back in some more cooking with Drew. I know it's been like a couple episodes every week. Are you kidding me right now? Look at what I'm talking to. Listen, guys, I'm sorry I haven't recorded as much cooking with Drew as I should. But boy, oh boy, do I have allergies. But I'm okay. I just want to apologize that I haven't been making as many videos as I have lately. Starting from today, I want to start getting back into the rhythm. You know, it's just been some rough times. I've explained it in one of my videos. So, we're going to keep. But, we will do this. We will become champions. Because we are. Welcome back. I feel good saying this. I feel good. To cooking with Drew. Yay. Gordon Ramsay, I'm coming for you, baby. Welcome back, our worldwide chefs, to season number one cooking show in the entire world, hosted by first truly, Drew. So. What is in the menu today? Today we are going to be making some crabs. Heck yeah. Today we are making some crabs for cooking with Drew. Now, it's not like I just wrote down a random recipe on a paper towel. No, that's definitely not the case. Um, no. Okay, so we're making crabs today. Crabs with fun. All right, well, let's we'll just get into it. So here's the recipe. Let's move you over there. First thing you guys are gonna need is a mixing bowl, such as this thing. Wait, what? That was freaking loud. Uh, Oh, you see the skill? You can't handle the skill. The 100% skill. Hey. Guys, we're just like five minutes into the episode. Just sit down and watch the episode. Simplicity itself. Laser. And the milks. Do I have flour? I freaking better. <laughs> So I literally don't know where to find the flour. I've used flour before, surely. What the heck? I don't know. <gasps> Found it. Right? <laughs> now for the recipe, baby. So what we need is we need quarter cup of flour. Okay, so let's get some measuring cups here. A quarter of a cup. That's a third of a cup. Uh, quarter cup. Oh. Found the quarter cup. Okay. Quarter cup of flour. That quarter of a cup. Beautiful. You want smooth and beautiful skin. You want skin that will melt in your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my moisturizer today. It's simple. All you have to do. Is get it in your hands, mix it up, and apply it to the dry spots. Now what this will do, will actually moisturize your skin. And those are the wonders of life. Buy yours today. Is one egg. And this is a serving for one person. 
because I'm all on. Season with salt. It's pepper. No, not pepper. Season with salt and mix. Now, the correct way to mix is just like so. Okay, now, you just use the wrist. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. Get all the flour off of all the sides. It's all in the wrist. Maple syrup. I'm Canadian. It's a Canadian ritual. I don't care if you like it or not. What the freaking maple syrup? Oh, I'm a freaking girl. I didn't sift the flour. Where you can add a little knob of butter, and it should melt almost instantly. Yep, there you go. That's how you know it's hot. Or hot enough. Now, you know me. I'm the flipping freaking master. So, where is it? I don't know. Okay, so, um, just tilt around the butter in the pan, just like so, until it all melts. This is an angle I haven't used before. This is way better. Why don't I use this? Okay, so, as you can see here, I have the mixture. Butter's all melted. Place it in the middle. Look, just that much. It's gonna spread and do its thing. So don't worry about it. You can tilt it around the pan to where the mixture gets everywhere. Okay, so just do that. I don't want it to go all around the pan though. Actually, I can do. So let's do that. What I'm going to use for flippers is a fly swatter. I think it works out. Right. Guys, I'm kidding. I'm not that original. See all those little clumps? That's flour. So that's why you want guys want to sift your flour beforehand. So that was a major oopsie. Um, but cool. What's done is done. So you want it to, depends how you like your crepe, if you don't like it like, if you like it more just like smooth and that's it, just cook it until it's not runny anymore. Um, but if you want a little bit of a crunch and a little bit of a crisp to it but it's still airy and fluffy like me, I would recommend that you cook it until it's a golden brown on each side. That's what I do and it works fine. So let that cook. For a few more minutes. Meanwhile, let's head into some coffee phase. Okay. Ready, guys? Nice color on it. Grab yourself a tiny bit of butter and just lightly smear it in the middle of the crepe, in like a in, a, in like a little line, almost. Okay. So smear that in the line. Then roll it up. That's crepe number one. At the end, we're going to drizzle over the maple syrup. That's a that sort of thing. So this, okay, redemption. Actually, not yet. It's not cooked. Okay, so, and crepe numero tres. It is time to get over some maple syrup. Jeez. Oh. Smells so good every time you smell it. 
just go over just like that. That's how it's done. Just like that. Now it doesn't look crazy good. It's not supposed to be one of those visually appealing ones, but it's supposed to be alright, so that's what we did. Let's see. Alright, now for the taste test, baby. I'm so excited. I love my crepes. Alright. Taste test. Mm. Now, a big part of it is do not drown your freaking crepes in freaking maple syrup because it just tastes like maple syrup. Like, it, that's what it tastes. Perfect maple syrup ratio. You still get that crepe flavor, which is what you want. Tastes delicious, cooked perfectly. I mean, I think today is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, I'm not a huge crepe person, so that's why it's a bit lower. But no matter, it's still a killer one, so. Mm. Forget it. 10 out of 10. I don't care anymore. This is great. Solid. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.